can go. We had a cordial meeting. Uh, we discussed a number of issues. Uh, I laid out clearly why there's uh, not going to be any uh, drilling off of the Gulf Coast of Florida uh, because of the federal statute that Senator Martinez and I uh, passed five years ago, uh, save for the state waters. And I suggested uh, to the governor-elect that uh, there's very little oil in 10 miles off the beach and that it's just simply not worth it to jeopardize our coast, to jeopardize our tourism, and we're certainly not going to jeopardize the military out in the federal waters. Uh, and we also talked about the high-speed rail, and I laid out uh, the reasons why I thought it was very important that we continue in a project that the federal government is paying 90% of it. It's not like the New Jersey tunnel that was 70% the state of New Jersey money. This is only 10% the state of Florida money. 90% of the federal money is already there. And you just simply can't build enough lanes on Interstate 4 to handle the traffic problems that we're going to have over the next 30 years. So we've got to change our mode and offer an alternative mode of transportation. And the time for high-speed rail is here in America right now, just like it's been in so many other countries around the world, been there for 20 years already. Had you talked to the administration before they made the decision on the oil drilling? Oh, I talk to them all the time. But uh, this is more form than substance. This is just the five-year work plan uh, that the Secretary of the Interior is required to have, uh, by statute he's required, but it's more form than substance because that area is already off limits under federal law, and that's the law that I mentioned we passed five years ago. Is there any, you know, thought that it was sort of given the the politics of it in 2012 for the president looking ahead? Or well, I don't know about that, but it's clearly a change from his five-year uh, drilling plan that he announced uh, back earlier this year because he was, was going to take a small portion of the eastern Gulf of Mexico and start to drill. As a matter of fact, ask Sarah if she'll bring that map back to me and I'll show them exactly what we're talking about. Um, and uh, so it's clearly a change by the Obama administration with regard to the Gulf of Mexico. But uh, in fact, you can't drill there anyway. Uh, all the yellow on the map in the Gulf of Mexico is prohibited by law from drilling. You can see the state waters are the first 10 miles off the beach. Um, what uh, the secretary had proposed in a five-year drilling plan early this year was to come in and start to enter this area of the military testing area. This is the military test and training line uh, that would have come in like this. And that's, of course, what I had objected to for uh, national defense preparedness reasons. Senator, do you have any, what's your level of comfort the, the incoming House Speaker has said, speaking of the state waters, has said that he's going to put that off the table, he's agreed to put that off the table. But what, what level of comfort do you have that the legislature is not going to make a run at that, uh, especially now that they've, uh, you know, someone are seeing this as a retreat from the Obama administration on the federal, in the federal area? If you go back and look at his statements uh, at the time of the Gulf oil spill, he said he was going to put it off the table for a year. So uh, whether or not he's planning to come back and try to do it again, uh, well, in light of the Gulf oil spill, uh, it would be kind of ridiculous to do it, and especially since we saw that oil can spill not anywhere near a beach, but it frightens people from coming to the beach. This happened all throughout Northwest Florida, but it happened all the way down to uh, Clearwater Beach and St. Pete Beach as well. Uh, 
hotels were getting cancellations on reservations, things that Ken Feinberg is addressing right now in the, in the Gulf Claims Commission. Uh, so it would be entirely at cross purposes to Florida's economic interest and for the production of jobs uh, if they were to suddenly uh, next year in the legislature go out there and try to start a plan where they'd drill, you know, a mile or two off the beach. Senator Herodopoulos uh, just released a statement saying calling this a, a flip-flop, an Obama flip-flop that's going to be a, a kill jobs. I want to get your reaction to that. A uh, ki uh, kill jobs. A job-killing flip-flop that the Obama administration is just engaged in now with this decision on oil. Well, I don't know what that has to do with killing jobs. Uh, to the contrary, it's saving jobs that we're not going to have drilling off the coast. It's saving our tourism jobs. It's saving our hotels. Uh, and it's saving all of those dollars that are coming into Florida uh, as the tourists come in and spend in our state and go to the beach. Uh, now, with regard to the flip-flop, uh, it is a flip-flop uh, because originally Secretary Salazar had planned to do a, a, a minor part of drilling in that eastern Gulf area. And so they have changed. But I think they learned their lesson in the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. But again, this is form instead of substance because the substance is the law. And you can't drill in that area that is depicted by that yellow uh, off limits on that map. Just open the door for a discussion on flip flops. Um, you've been branded as a flip flopper on earmarks because of your decision uh, of your vote yesterday uh, and your comments uh, two weeks ago, which were kind of saying earmarks are good in, in, in a lot of ways. And uh, yesterday you voted against it. How, how is how is that on a flip flop? yourself? Well, you remember the comments uh, two weeks ago that were right out here? And what did I say? I said that I will jealously guard my right as senator to fight for Florida and for Florida jobs and that protect Florida and protect our country. I will continue to fight for projects and will request them for our military bases, such as the location of a nuclear aircraft carrier at Mayport. I will continue to fight for dredging in our ports through the Army Corps of Engineers in order to be able to bring the big cargo ships from the Panama Canal when it is expanded, because if you don't, that business is going to Charleston and to Savannah and for Florida ports, that can mean billions and billions of dollars of economic trade that will directly impact our people as well as produce jobs. I will uh, jealously guard uh, my right as senator to fight for projects that are Everglades restoration because of the enormous importance to our state. And uh, nothing's changed. Now, what's changed is the overall question of are you going to change the old way of doing things? And that is earmarks that are known as pork barrel that don't have a direct relationship to jobs, to the defense of the country. And these are perilous economic times. These are times where you've got to get in and start cutting spending. And uh, I will uh, govern myself by exactly that. 